guys, good evening and welcome to today's vlog. I am vlogging today because I haven't in a while and I just felt like it. Anyway, I'm vlogging today because I'm moving out of this room. So as you can see, I'm like in the process of just packing everything. I have realized, you know, with the whole, I can't get a mortgage situation and all of that, that it's better to downsize and better to move further out of central London. At the moment, I'm like 20 minutes from Leicester Square. I've been paying a grand rent for basically not even being able to go out in London at all through lockdown and tears and different, not like crying tears, but like tier three, tier four, whatever. So I haven't been able to actually make use of the location that I'm in. And it's probably gonna be the case that as soon as I move further out to London, lockdown's gonna lift, but I feel like I definitely need to get rid of half of my stuff. It just feels a bit cluttered and I just want to move on. My best friend who I lived with, who like we became best friends through living together, he's also moving out. And I just thought, you know what, it's time. Do you know what's funny is I think I was wearing this t-shirt when I actually moved into the place. So it's kind of funny that I'm wearing it now to film me packing to move out. But I have a whole drawer full of diaries that I always write in and there's some horrible deep stuff in here and then like I thought to myself you know what I'm gonna read it all and then get rid there's no need for me to actually carry on holding on to these diaries so I actually have all my tickets that I needed to get to all of my pharmacy interviews I feel like it's good to write down your feelings and all of that but it's not good to hold on to stuff one of the themes that I want to talk about in this vlog is basically just moving forwards I think for a lot of my life I've lived in the past or constantly thinking when I move to Korea or like when I get there or like when I have this when I have that and I just think Corona's just taught me you know what I'm just gonna think about what I have now not constantly think about the past stop dwelling on the past it's okay it's fine to like think about it reminisce at times and appreciate it but it's not he like healthy to dwell on it so that's the thought behind basically getting through these I've gotten rid of quite a lot of clothes already. I think actually um, all three bags here I'm gonna send to charity. I did say this on my Instagram, but everyone says at work, oh my gosh, you make such an effort at work, like you look nice, whatever. But actually about 60% of my clothes do from, come from charity. I don't do anything for the environment. And I thought to myself last year, you know what? I'm gonna stop buying things that are already made. And that for me was clothes. I did have some blips during lockdown where I went on ASOS but then after I did that once I was like no I'm not going to do this again but this year I'm going to try and really just cut down and stop buying pointless things now it's all about the saving since I've been told that I can't afford a mortgage I've been like yeah it's time to save now so I guess although I didn't get a studio out of it I got that mindset out of it <laughs> which is better than nothing like even all this makeup here like I was so obsessed with buying makeup and this one obviously is Charlotte Tilbury and now I'm just like no you know what some of this I don't even use and need so I am going to get rid of this as well. I was talking to my sister the other day actually and she was saying that some people have a light heart and some people are just have heavy hearts and by that it's like some people will just be able to like, shake things off really easily and not take it too seriously and like move forwards and move past stuff and then there's people like me who have heavy hearts and like for everything that we do we feel it very deeply we don't just have emotions that can go away when we love someone we love them very deeply when we get into relationships we take most of them very seriously and she was just saying how that's always been the difference between us and that's why when something happens to me it takes me longer to process and to move on from it than it would take my sister and like I said, one of the themes of this vlog is going to be how we should all practice just moving forward. Instead of thinking so much about what could have been or what was, it's important to just write down what was, but what now is, and then accept those facts and then move on with like a realistic mindset, basically. Actually, this is too small for me. I don't know why I'm packing it. I might give this away. I wore this for graduation. Also, it's very short. Yeah, I feel like I've grown out of this, unfortunately. Also, if you think that social media is not doing very good things for your mind and you find yourself doing what I sometimes do, which is like stalking people, 
comparing yourself and stuff, then try not to do that. You have one life. And I always think to myself, like, if I was 80 and on my deathbed, would I be proud of the decisions that, that I made every day? And would I not have any regrets? And that's kind of how I try and live my life. Obviously, I struggle with it. And not every day I make decisions that I'm proud of, but I try. Everywhere I go, I have like a bunch of folders that I need to get rid of each time. And like, I don't even know again where to start with these. So I've gotten rid of as much as I could today. I got rid of so many diary entries. I just read them, processed them, processed my thoughts and then ripped them and put them in the bin. <sighs> Good night. Good morning, it's a new day. It is Friday. I'm actually on annual leave and that's to try and get some more packing done. But since last night, there has been nothing done. It's now almost 1 p.m. So Ed has come today just to help me pack. Um, he drives so he can help me. But for now, we're just gonna eat first and then probably come back and do some more. So this is the rainbow box from Wasabi. And this is their Tom Yum soup, right? So here are all the tickets that I had for my pharmacy interviews. So I've documented here why I need to get into pharmacy. And number one is, if I ever stayed in Korea, I would continuously be dependent on dad for money, for a job, and just career in general. He knows the language so much better than I do. No matter how much I study or stay here, he'll always know more. And by that, I meant that I kind of just wanted financial independence. And I think even now that is still so important. As much as people say money doesn't matter, money actually gives you that independence and I think for women I just personally think that it's a good idea to be able to have a voice and have money to back that voice. I'm not saying money is everything but I think that it allows you to just kind of make your own decisions and say this is what I want to do and this is how I'm going to do it. So it does give you that ability and that freedom of movement essentially. I wanted my license to just protect me from having to depend on anyone and I still think that it does that today. I think the license protects me essentially because not only did I realise during a pandemic how secure the job is but it also allows you to go to other countries and stuff. So as much as I'm up and down about pharmacy at the moment in regards to like the salary and not being able to get a mortgage and stuff, I don't have any regrets and I'm proud of being a pharmacist. I've always been really scared of not having proof of something happening. That's probably one of the reasons why I keep a lot of sentimental things. I was talking about this with my boyfriend the other day, but he would keep everything practical from exes, whereas I don't keep anything practical from exes. I actually keep sentimental things, and I think that I hold on to a lot of my memories, and I kind of hoard memories and feelings. <laughs> And I'm taking this opportunity of moving out of this room and somewhere new just to move forward and acknowledge that at one point I did feel this way. Just because I'm binning pictures and letters and stuff doesn't mean it didn't happen. And that's what I've kind of learnt. You can still trash it all, but you can keep the memories and that's enough. Washing machine is going crazy in the background. I'm not using a mic, so it kind of might be a bit noisy. And this vlog is this and that, very feelings based. I hope that you still enjoy it nevertheless. Okay guys, it's like 5 p.m. These I have to keep because they're my uni stuff and this I'm trying to sell online for like three pounds because they're completely empty. I was gonna like split each folder up into like the BNF chapters, but yeah, I'm just, I just need to, it's not gonna happen. I also have this book called Breaking Down Breakups that I bought because, not even when I was going through a breakup, but I bought this about a year after and it's because this guy called Dating Guy on YouTube, he was my go-to guy every time I felt shit after the breakup. And then a year after I discovered him, he came out with a book and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna support him. So I bought this book and it's got a good few points in, but I just don't feel like I need them anymore at this stage in my life and it would be better in someone else's hands. So um, it is a bit crumpled at the bottom because I put it in a bag full of this, with this snow globe that leaked. But if you feel like you want it and you're going through a breakup, then leave a comment in the description box below. In the description box, in the comments below. And I'll actually mail it out to you. I feel like if no one comments, then I'm just going to leave it on the tube one day and hope that it helps someone and falls into the right hands. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here because it's been so weird. I know that it's not been much other than me moving out and packing stuff but I hope that you enjoyed it and 
you gain something out of it, such as, you know, deciding to get rid of something. Sorry this video has not been pharmacy related, but as you know, it is a national lockdown. I can't go anywhere. I filmed what I have and that's it. So have a great day, stay safe and healthy wherever you are and remember always move forwards and live in the present.